cube. I was going to do a modern league instead, but... I should have put it to a poll. I do have a vintage cube draft. Banger of a song, by the way. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You guys want to see cube? It's my favorite cube archetype. I really like drafting red green, or like not red green, like green goif unplayable mid range trash. <laughs> So Stacey just outside the window of the apartment, hovering, waiting, Danny began to head downstairs, but he quickly discovered he realized Brian was no longer behind him. Think of the 100 bits area. Fable. Also, I like drafting anything with Oko in it. Big fan of Oko. Tell you what, if we lose this one, this match, we'll drop the league and we'll cube instead. Dun, 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 dun. It's like we're against Jund. I don't hate Blood Moon in this matchup, so I don't think I'm going to side at all. Usually, every time I try to cube anything that's like combo oriented, I just get absolutely demolished. Because I'm just so bad at cubing anything with combo oriented. I'll try Storm, I'll pick up like a Bolus of Citadel, I'll pick up like all these good things and then just not find any Storm cards <laughs> or anything that like as a payoff. No Brain Freeze, no Tendrils, no nothing. What should you get for food? Go to a nice burrito place. Not Chipotle, Chipotle is not a nice burrito place. Chipotle is like D tier, in my opinion. I don't like Chipotle. Should I fury this thing? I guess I will. It's probably because I'm spoiled. I just, I don't know, every time I go to Chipotle, it's just so average. And the next day, it's just like, oh man, why do I not feel great? <laughs> I don't feel so great. Was this the Chipotle's doing? I mean, I just have, like, a lot of local shops that I go to instead of going to, like, get fast food. So, yeah, I guess in that regard, you're probably right. Like, Subway, I don't like. Chipotle, I don't like. Instead of going to, like, Subway, I'd rather go to my local grocery store and get a sandwich. I don't like Subway. Yeah, Chipotle is also expensive for what it is. I agree with you. Doing the pump fake. Doing the old pump fake. Because they said I might as well concede if they have second endurance. <laughs> I'm just trolling him. Uh, they said I'm going to concede if you have second endurance. And I said might as well concede now then. Certainly followed the word. This is pretty much a pawn's mirror. If it's M. Hayashi. Mono Red Dog Water Specialist himself, yeah. This is Mono Red's hero, M. Hayashi. Needle Spires. Holy fuck. M. Hayashi, please. We're out here playing Needle Spires in the year 2022. 
Am I Ash is just built different? I don't want to get this ran down. But if I don't, I get this... Uh, I mean, if I just play the Utopia Sprawl. I'm just going to play the Utopia Sprawl. So I get the setup for... I get the setup for Karn next turn if I do that. A burrito or a Lampita? I'm feeling like a burrito right now. That's what I want. Burrito sounds fire. That's a seal of fire. Planes. A lamb burrito? I don't know how I feel about a lamb burrito. That'd even be good. Sure it would. A lamb burrito's a euro? That's a sandwich. What do you mean? You can't tell me that a euro is not a sandwich. Grab land. What land? I don't see a land here. Hmm, Chandra. Chandi. Seal of fire. It's a Greek taco. What? No. It's a sandwich. Stop trying to gaslight me. Plus bowl? No bowl? Upkeep bowl. Alright. Fancy. It's still a sandwich. Is it not still a sandwich? I like how this conversation turned out. It's so dumb. Gaslighting me. Alright, they're tacos. That makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. Am Hayashi finally defeated the Karn? It only took him 10 years, but he did it. Sure, get my Ren. Hmm. I have to get in here. Honestly, I should probably just keep plusing. I'm not sure there's a ton they can do about it. What's up, Burnt? Alright. This is my board state. The state of the board, if you will. So many Spyros. Am I winning? I think so. I feel like I'm ahead. There's five Spyros on the table right now. My board. It's rude. I was going to use that to further my advantage. Am I still winning? I think so. I think I'm even further ahead than I was before.
Nej, skubt. Skubt. There's an open face sandwich a pizza. No, it's a sandwich. What's the struggle here? I don't... Uh, is there something I'm failing to understand? I guess the Silex is kind of main deckable. Main deck the boat as well. Relics. They're also playing Relic, so I don't know how good that is. Boat seems fine, though. Unlike this hand. We have four copies of Endurance anyways. When you fold it in half, you either get Stromboli or Calzone. And both of those are same. I'm about to fold anybody that's still talking about this sandwich nonsense in half. How about that? Tossy in the dumpster. Am I going to have to pull up the sandwich alignment chart? You're not going to like me when I talk about the sandwich alignment chart. <laughs> Fold me, please. <laughs> please fold me. I know, we'll talk about the sandwich alignment chart. Wow, it's 100p. I just like super develop my mana this turn. I think I'm going to. Mana. Mana. Go. So this is the sandwich alignment chart. Are you an ingredient purist? Must have. Must have cheese lettuce etc etc like do you care about the ingredients of the sandwich because if so i mean they could fury me and that would suck i'm just gonna jump in which case you're like you know you're also a structure purist ingredient purist then you say a blt is a sandwich which is true what happened to me blast zone holy fuck that ruined me Or if you're ingredient neutral, but the structure appears, you can say a chip buddy is a sandwich. I don't know what this is. This looks something like something from the EU or Australia. Maybe one of my EU friends in here could enlighten me what a buddy sandwich is. If you're structure neutral and ingredient neutral, you could say a hot dog's a sandwich. Which is like not true, I don't think. I wouldn't say a hot dog's a sandwich. Should have asked Nassif what a buddy sandwich is. A hot dog is definitely a sandwich. How is it an open face sandwich? That doesn't make any sense. 100% a sandwich. Well, regardless of what you think about a hot dog being a sandwich. I need to get in Snaring Bridge. Heliod's intervention? Zerak, thank you for the 13 bits. I don't know what you just said. But thank you. I'm gonna take a relic over Ancient Grudge. If you're structure neutral, but an ingredient appears, you would say a sub is a sandwich, which is true. That's true. Or give me a structure rebel and an ingredient appears and say a chicken wrap is a sandwich. I think a chicken wrap is a sandwich. Is a burrito a sandwich? No, a burrito's a burrito. A wrap isn't a sandwich. I think a wrap is a sandwich. I'm an ingredient purist, I think, because I think all of these are sandwiches. How's a burrito not a wrap? I think a Twinkie's a sandwich? No, that's a pastry. Not a good pastry, but it's still a pastry. Honestly, I think that an ice cream between waffles is a sandwich, because I would consider that an ice cream sandwich.
I think that an ice cream sandwich is definitely a sandwich. Is there any logic in saving treasure chests to sell them before a new set releases? Will they be worth more? They are worth more upon set release, yes. Indeed. I feel like if I play Karn, it's just gonna die. I think instead of playing Karn, I'm just going to bolt this thing and start attacking him. Might be wrong. How much more? Like, probably an additional 10, or not 10.1. It's not very much. Depends on the set release. If the set's really good, then the chest will be worth more. Is an ice cream taco a sandwich? Well, if you think a taco's a sandwich, then you would think an ice cream taco's a sandwich. I don't. And a Pop-Tart is definitely not a sandwich. That's also a pastry. A hot pocket? Mmm. That's a sandwich. I say a hot pocket's a sandwich. I'll give it to you. Hot pocket certified sandwich. Hot pocket's a meat pie. Hot pocket's a scam. I would agree with that. The cherry pie sandwich, that's also a pastry. And that's a pie. It's in the name. It's a pie. I can never win. Should have gotten a bridge. Is a bridge a sandwich? Is Karn a sandwich? Is Double Fury a sandwich? Probably. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to four. Good. That's fine. Everything is fine. I'm dead. I actually can't win. Alright. That sucked. I guess the good news is that if we lose one more in the prelim, then we can drop into a cube draft. That'd be cool. I think Pillage is a good card right now. Not really. Not particularly. Arbor Elves are just like never living in this format. <laughs> Every time I played an Arbor Elf, it just immediately died. Oops, I almost said no. Yep, I brought three Arbor Elves to a three counter spell fight. Yeah, Endurance is really good, but I mean, they just play fast Merc Tide against you. That's any bigger than a 4 4, and you can't deal with it. Oh, look, it's Merc Tide again. I'm gonna make lose it. That was a really good draw. The hands where I can go right on two have just been like the strongest hands I've drawn with this deck. Ah, sweet Ledger Shredder. Ledger Shredder, Fury, Fury, Ledger Shredder, get acquainted. Two of you need to get to know each other. So many elves. Oh, that's a million miles away from Delirium. So unless they have a follow-up here, I'm going to ping that. That oh, looks like it's getting pinged. I definitely don't need to land anyways. This will prompt him to do something, whether it be 
you know, cast to consider whatever help may resolve my Karn. I mean, with Karn, I can go get, I don't know, maybe Relic. Maybe turn on Delirium, we'll get Relic, and then just pop the Relic and draw a card. And then kill this also. Stone Brain, the counter spells, genius. Scholar. I'm actually get Tormod script. I'm gonna get Crypt to play around Spell Pierce. I don't know if that was right or not, but I my board is so developed right now, and there's just like nothing. I think it was fine, not like giving them the opportunity to spell pierce me. Now they have to play catch up with a bunch of one mana removal spells. Honestly, I might get a chalice on one. Chalice on one seems pretty good here. I didn't think I was stone brain murk tide, which is also a consideration. Oh, they scooped. I mean, they didn't have answers from one of my many threats. I've been citing out Blood Moons, Mags of the Moons that are bringing in Veil, Relic, Chalice, and Boat. The Blood Moons and Mags are just so bad that I think it's worth bringing in pretty much anything else. I also kind of want a Worm Coil on the sideboard of this deck. Something that gives me life in the late game. I need more life. Stone Brain's like kind of good, right? It's pretty necessary for destroying like creativity. Morning over voltage in the middle of the night. It's the best time for the morning. <laughs> another day, another Ren and Six. Top of the evening, Jabber. Hope you've been well, buddy. Gonna name Red. Because all I can see is Red after I cast Ren and Six. Yep. Hate to see it. Hopefully this Endurance is good. Yeah, I'm... I wonder if this is another opportunity to cast a main phase endurance. Probably. Or maybe not. Now that I've drawn a relic, I feel a little bit better about holding this endurance. Less of a chance that I get murked out, out of the game. So I'll just pass. Maybe they'll dash a ragster or something. Sure. I don't know why they brought in hers. I got a boat. Yay, boat. That's fine. I don't think this hearse is going to be a big problem. Do you want to keep your graveyard empty, though? How many stone rain effects am I playing? Like, none. I'm playing some four moon effects and some... Rude. Some other things in the sideboard. Very rude. Like liquid metal coating and a couple copies of Besaju, but nothing crazy on the land destruction. Um, huh. I'll activate here. I could hold this and pop the relic, but I think I'm gonna leave the relic around and just cast Spyro. A good chance they counter this and then just play a second one. I'm gonna double heat my endurance. Okay. Eats my graveyard. I think I'm gonna take the draw here. I 
Devastating. Very devastating. That explains why I double heated the endurance. Can be one big hearse though. But if the Murktide's only at 4 4, then I can Fury it. Assuming that one of the cards they're holding on to is Murktide. Seems likely at this point. I die. 2 to 6. I think I'm just gonna run out this Fury. Murktide's gonna be too big to kill with the Fury, anyways. It's gonna be a 5 5. Let's run this out and pass the turn. Especially after getting him to bolt a token, I think that was the right thing to do. Present lethal. Second bolt is pretty good. Alright, I need another lightning bolt or something. So Kanzad don't get attack another big O card. So Kanzad needs to get frisky. May I greatly sculpt you? Create you even? I can take my boat back, or I can take this relic. What else can I get? Anything cool? Relic's pretty cool. All the hearse can't be activated at the moment, unless they kill Karn. If they do manage to kill Karn first, then might might be a good thing to get. Yeah, it's a Merc Dead answer. We found it. Second iteration. Gross. Bobble that I'm gonna kill. Consider. They're trying to turn on Delirium, which is not gonna happen. I'm gonna heat Karn, I'm guessing. Yeah, Ballista will kill them, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna heat Karn. I get the plus, kill the Bobble, attack them for one. Go to five. Here you go. And plus the hairs bounce to ten. That's a one one. I guess I should cast Gone and just unsummon it because it's going to be the last turn of the game, anyways. Because if they turn on Delirium somehow, then it'll be tragic. Turns is quite the hit. Honestly, maybe I just plus. Nah, I should just get the Ballista. Alright, let's get Ballista. Two, four, five, six. List X3. Gotta bolt them in their upkeep. We got there. That's probably gonna be playing Breach. How many people would sit through an MTG stream with a stream and talk like a pirate the whole time? I mean, how many people sit, sat through episodes of SpongeBob that had Patchy the Pirate? It was just a normal guy talking like a pirate. <laughs> for the entire episode. Pretty high amounts. So I imagine, you know, it wouldn't be that much of a drop off. Reanimator model one stompy model green ramp. Stuff like that. Artifacts with Tinker. Oi, bruv. I could be like the European patchy the pirate. Oi, bruv. <laughs> it's me, patchy the pirate. That's really annoying. That's also really annoying. I'm gonna end up endurancing them. Oh, Drew Bolt. Easy. Never didn't have it. Light Steel. Tinker. Classic. Is it Power Cube? I have to imagine it's probably Power Cube. Most vintage cubes have power, some of them don't. 
Pum, 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 I'm just saying some of them don't. Oh, I didn't activate Ren. That's okay. Whoops. I got too excited by Blood Moon. To activate Ren. <laughs> Took two points of damage for no reason. Feels bad, man. I think I'd rather have Besage you than Sokenzon. All the vintage keeps on motor power, gotcha. Rogavon was the worst card in your deck. Interesting. Somehow I feel like that's not true. Might have been the matchups. I feel like Rogavon would be decent in Vintage Cube still. This is definitely going to be a Stone Brain matchup. Stone Brain's going to be clutch here. If a ramp connects two planes together, okay, I'm listening, then is a ramp a baby bridge? Probably. Brainstone or the Stone Brain? You broke MTG butt. Look what you did, Kobe. You broke it. <laughs> there it is. Just ripping these bolts off the top like a champion. Brain in the stone. I don't know. A good question. Prince thing of the fall. Clothy seems decent. Clothy's actually might take over this game. Clothis? Is it like Clothis? Clothis? I never figured out how to pronounce this card correctly. Clothis? I'm allergic to Clothis. I always call him Cloithis, but apparently that's not right. Like cloister. Bobble. Clothies. Red or white aggro, green ramp, cradle of cradle, blue X control, reanimator, brown town, aka artifacts, matter, and storm. I've never seen reanimator and storm get drafted a lot. Chesties, upsies. Storm normally fails in backdoors in the reanimator. I can see that. I should not have done that. I should have done that on my turn. Now do a cube draft together after this chat. One more match after this, and then we'll do a cube draft for funsies. It's only three really good reanimated targets unless you're using Shallow Grave. It's like Inkwell Leviathan, Sphinx, and Gristlebrand, maybe? Does that sound about right? Iona, Archon of Cruelty, Elish Norn. Is Sphinx of the Steel Wind and Inkwell in there? I assume Gristlebrand is if it's Vintage Cube. 
had temporary lockdown in it and Heliod's intervention, whatever that's for. A couple of endurances and a dream, I'm keeping it. I'm mentally preparing myself for Bing Bong Bismus. I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, the Persist Reanimator deck. It was like a red black pile. It wasn't too bad. A red black collection of cards, I would call it. It's creativity. It smells like creativity. Are you smelling the creativity now, son? Oh, it's absolutely creativity. Man, I gotta sneeze. Don't do it, Dingo. Don't sneeze. This is a high risk, high reward play. I'm gonna go for the car and I'm gonna minus get the stone brain. If they have creativity, they bested me. If they don't, I'm taking all of them. Didn't pay off. All right, well, mm, explosive seems fine. That alone is like part of the reason why I want to tutor for EE. -E. Tutoring for EE -E seems kind of slow. That's part of the reason why like Stone Brain just isn't that good. It's still creativity for one on the turn you tutor the Stone Brain. You can't do anything about it. Let's see everything else on the sideboard. I don't think I want Ballista. I'll leave Ballista in the board for when I'm on the bridge plan. Gross. I guess I'll keep this. Not much better. This is a magic bar I really want to find Blood Moon ASAP. Mm -hmm. Ask and ye shall receive, I suppose. This is like the fastest match of all time. Eh, it's no Blood Moon, but I guess I have to keep this. It wasn't that common on your ability to conjure top decks. I just gotta name cards that are in my deck. And they will appear. Maybe I should start naming cards that aren't in my deck. Can I get a blue eyes white dragon? Maybe a red eyes darkness dragon? How about some Yujo friendship? Yeah, I really need a Blood Moon. Hopefully I can just get to enough mana to the point where I can just, like, Karn Stone Brain. Seemed very likely. Probably Karn minus get a bridge. So they can't attack me with Archon if they do creativity for Archon. Clothies. I hate Clothies. Alright, what do I want? I'll just get a bridge and sit behind it for a while. My other options, like, that's really about it. Fable. I think I'm just gonna name Archon. Might have a spell pierce. That's not a spell pierce.
I want to name Archon because there's a good chance I'm just sitting behind my bridge this game. And the thing that can kill me from behind my bridge besides Artifact Hate, of course, is Archon. Just ET being and triggering. Not quite over, but pretty much over. So I just hit the cast Fury and wipe their three things. I think I'm still gonna just hit the same four. I could wait. I could wait for a fable to flip. Which mana do I have here? Six. Cast Ren, pick up a land, and I still have enough to cast a Fury. So just take out these two, leave them with a couple 1-1s one that are pingable. Submissive and pingable. Mm. <laughs> Submissive little doors. <laughs> so dumb. Some of the things I say are just so incredibly dumb it surprises me sometimes. Yep. Another pingable dwarf. Question of the day. Oh my god, it's a creature. Chad. Question of the day is, can I beat Reflections bing-bonging off each other? I didn't realize I had 7 devotion already. How can he be so devoted? I guess I gotta get a Ballista and kill one of these Reflections. Hmm. It needs to be a ballista. I could also get a Silex. No, nah, might's non creature. I could needle it. A needle dies to Nature's Claim as well. Still have a run activation here too. I'm gonna activate and response. I messed this up. I should have done this a different way. That's okay. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. As long as I'm able to kill one of them. Well, no, it didn't matter if I did a main phase because if I do a main phase, they make a token and then that token, they use it at the end step. So it's not going to make a difference if I do a main phase aside from just eat one of their mana. Doing it this way in response to them targeting it means that they can't make a token and like combo off with one of the tokens that they made and the real one, right? Because if I do a main phase and they make a token and then that token disappears at end step, but before it disappears, they can make another one. I shouldn't have pinged with Ballista. Have you peeked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peeked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>